here's the preview of the South Carolina versus Louisville women's basketball game, which is the other Final Four game at the Division I level. South Carolina right now is favored by 7.5 points, but it could change, of course, between now and the game's played. For Louisville, they averaged 72.2 points per game while allowing 55.2, 38.2 rebounds per game while allowing 33.2, 15.5 assists per game while allowing 10.3, 13.8 turnovers per game while forcing 19.4. Great number on force and turnovers there. 10.1 steals per game and 5.7 blocks per game. Some players to keep an eye on like Haley Van Litt, a 5'7 inch guard that's a sophomore, 14.5 points per game. Kiana Smith is a 6 foot guard that's a senior, 11.9 points per game. Emily Engstorler is a 6 foot 1 inch forward that's a senior, 11.8 points per game. Olivia Cochran is a six foot three inch forward. That's a sophomore, eight point four points per game. Chelsea Halls is five foot eleven seven inch guard. That's a senior, seven points per game. Liz Dixon is six five foot six foot five inch forward. That's a senior, five point four points per game. Alana Smith is a five foot nine inch guard. That's a senior, four point four points per game. Peyton Ver or Holst. Is a six foot one inch guard. That's a freshman, three point four points per game. Makessa Robinson is a five foot seven inch guard. That's a senior, three point two points per game. As for South Carolina, they average seventy one point one points per game while allowing fifty point five points per game. That's pretty impressive defense on not allowing that many points. Forty eight point two rebounds per game while allowing thirty point three. That's a big margin. Thirteen point nine assists per game while forcing nine. But they do commit the ball a uh, turnover four point four fourteen point four turnovers per game as a as a team while forcing thirteen point five. That's not a good number. You want to have more less turnovers when 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 compared to forcing seven point six steals per game while and four point two blocks per game. Some players to keep an eye on like Aaliyah Boston, a six foot five inch forward. That's a junior, sixteen point eight. Eight points per game. Destiny Henderson is a five foot seven inch guard. That's a senior. Eleven point one points per game. Zia Cook is a five foot nine inch guard. That's a junior. Ten point seven points per game. Leticia Emmer here is a six foot four inch forward. That's a junior. Six point five points per game. She's not really a shooter because from three because five foot eleven on threes. Camilla Cardoso is a six foot seven inch center. That's a sophomore, 5.7 points per game. Bria Hall is a six foot guard. That's a freshman, 4.9 points per game. Lily Grissett, six foot two inch center. That's a senior, 3.4 points per game. Destiny Littleton is a five foot nine inch guard. That's a senior, 2.7 points per game. Anaya Russell, six, six foot one inch guard. That's a sophomore, 2.4 points per game. Sanaya Rivers is a six foot one inch guard. That's a freshman, 2.3 points per game. Sanaya Fegan is a six foot three inch forward. That's a freshman, two points per game. So obviously, both teams have great defenses. So defensively, you got to make the other team very, very uncomfortable and force turnovers. And I know Louisville does that quite a bit, as you can tell by the numbers. You got to get you got to get defensive rebounds in this game, obviously, because. Eh, you know, it could be the difference in a win or a loss and second chance points. You got to limit those and you limit the uh, sl shooters or sl and slashers. But South Carolina doesn't have like a ton of shooters. More like, I believe, Aaliyah Boston's a semi-shooter, but not like an all-the-time player. Really just one, two players that shoot the ball really good. I mean... You know, you got to limit the fast break points, second chance points, and points off turnovers. But offensively, you got to find a way to take care of the ball, and you got to rebound the ball, get second chance points, fast break points, points off turnovers. You got to make some shots. For South Carolina, if you could get going from three, that's fine, but I wouldn't enforce it because you're not a great three point shooting team based on what I see in the numbers.
or not how many shooters you have on the team. So just try to be smart on your shot selection. And I know we don't know how the game's going to be called either. I mean, is it going to be very, very physical and they're going to let a lot of stuff go or are they going to just quick whistle everything? If I had to choose who's going to win this game, I would say South Carolina, but not by seven and a half. I would say within set seven or five points. But would it shock me if Louisville won? No. Because their defense, it's, it's something. I mean, they are a very dangerous team. Louisville is. We'll see what happens in this game here. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Let's give me up to 400 subscribers or more by the end of this year.